join kids hat family This was so much fun. Yes, it certainly was. But Tia, why do I taste salt in my mouth? Why is the sea water salty? When the rain flows over the land, the water washes salt and other minerals out of the rocks and gets mixed with the water in the streams, rivers, etc. The rivers finally carry the salt to the sea. The salt stays in the sea as no water flows out of the sea. When the sea water evaporates to form clouds, almost all the salt stays behind. The left behind salt slowly gets collected over a period of time and this is how sea water gets salty. is the reason we cannot drink sea water it's too salty yes almost 96% of water on earth is in the oceans and still we cannot drink it directly water water everywhere and not a drop to drink <laughs> Tofu, are you all right? Nah, just a hiccup. <gasps> But why do we get hiccups? Hiccups are funny ones. Most simple cases of hiccups come after eating or drinking too much or too quickly. You must be wondering where these funny noises are coming from. The part to be blamed is your diaphragm. This is a dome-shaped muscle at the bottom of your chest and all hiccups start here. The diaphragm helps in breathing. When you inhale, it pulls down to help pull air into the lungs. When you exhale, the diaphragm relaxes and the air flows out of the lungs back to the nose and mouth. But sometimes the diaphragm becomes irritated. When this happens, it pulls down in a jerky way which makes you suck air into your throat suddenly. When the air rushing in hits your voice box, you're left with a big hiccup. <laughs> hmm. Do you know that almost all cases of hiccups last only a few minutes everyone has their own pet remedy for curing hiccups simply holding your breath is often effective Job tofu hmm. 
Now let's put it back in water. Let's not kill it as it won't be able to breathe outside water. Why, Tia? If we can breathe outside water, then why can't fish do that too? That's because we have lungs to breathe. What we breathe is oxygen and when it enters the windpipe, it goes straight to the lungs. The lungs help us to breathe in air. Fish don't have lungs? No Tofu, fish don't have lungs. They have gills. What are gills? They are similar to our lungs. Behind its mouth, they have holes just like our nose. Fish breathe by taking in oxygen from the water it drinks. The gills separate the oxygen present in the water and throw out the water and the carbon dioxide. So are you trying to say that we have lungs and they have gills to breathe? Yes. No, Tofu, you can't. You need a snorkeling pipe to make you breathe underwater. Oh, let's do it, Tia. I know Tofu, deserts are hot. Why don't you keep yourself hydrated by drinking water? But Tia, don't our camels need water too? They do Tofu, but not as much as we or other animals do. So you want to say they can survive without water? Yes, camels can survive up to 10 months without a sip of water given the fact that they get sufficient moisture from green vegetation and dew. How is that possible? Do you know camels can store water? Yes. They store water in their humps. <laughs> That's not true. Camels typically live in deserts where there is scarcity of both water and food. A camel's hump is a huge lump of fat which can weigh up to 80 pounds. This hump allows it to survive for up to a period of two weeks without food. But the hump has nothing to do with water. Oh! 
So it's not true that camels stow water in the humps. So where does he stow the water for such a long time? A camel can drink up to 40 gallons of water in just 15 minutes. They can conserve water by managing their body temperatures. When the camels drink water, this swells up their red blood cells in an oval shape which gradually keeps their body hydrated. The following three mechanisms help the camel to survive in extreme conditions of the desert. Camels rarely sweat in summers. Camels rarely sweat in summers. They lose less water in urine, which is in form of solid crystals. They lose less water in urine. Lastly, they have thick-skinned coats that can keep their body cool. They have thick-skinned coats. So Tofu, what two things did you gather from our conversation? One, that camels don't store water in their humps. Two, that water gets stored in oval shaped red blood cells. Hmm, that's absolutely right Tofu. You learn quite fast. <laughs> <laughs> Is hair also a part of the body? Yes, Tofu. And nails? Yes, even nails too. Then why it does not hurt when we cut our nails or hair, but it does hurt when our other body parts get hurt? Hmm, that's quite an interesting observation that you have made, Tofu. Our body parts get hurt because they have nerve sensations in them. So whenever you get bruised, the tissues and cells in the skin get damaged and nerves send sensations to the brain. But the parts of our hair and nails that lie above the skin's surface are made up of keratin. Keratin? Yes, keratin. It is comprised of dead cells of a tough protein. Since these cells are dead, there is no sensitivity in them. Thus, when we cut our hair or nails, there is no sensation whatsoever. Tofu, what are you doing? It hurts. Sorry, Tia, but you just said hair and nails don't hurt. That's because both hair and nails have nerve endings just below the skin's surface. Ouch! So if a hair is pulled, or nails cut too short, these nerves are affected and this could hurt us. Thanks, Tia. Now I can go and tell all my friends in school 
about this interesting fact about our body. <laughs> sure, Tofu. You are most welcome. For your favorite rhymes, stories and more, join Kids Heart family. Subscribe here.